God, I would just love to do that and just like fall off a building, but like not die. Hi, I'm Grace Vanderwall and I'm here with Seventeen and this is Seventeen Questions. I love cartoons and they're pretty much like all I watch. Like I don't watch real life things. I like strictly like animation and cartoons. I really like Steven Universe and Adventure Time. I think those are my top two, which is very embarrassing. Actually, no, it's not. I'm very proud of that. Those are bomb shows with bomb music, okay? Uh, this is weird, right? You have a sword in your head? I was once wearing no makeup and someone complimented me on my dark circles and said that they looked cute. And I never, ever, ever forgot about that. And I literally think about it every single time I take off my makeup. I think they have like no idea how much that impacted me. It's like one of my biggest insecurities. And I'll never forget that. <laughs> oh my God. I always talk. Like I never shut the hell up. I talk a lot and it annoys people. I want to be really intelligent. Like I've always wanted to be one of those people. It's just like so mature and so eloquent and well-spoken, just like talk about things. Definitely, definitely. I think that I've been starstruck a, a good amount of times. There was only one time that really sticks out to me and it's because it was my favorite artist of all time, which is Ariana Grande. And I saw her on a red carpet and I started crying in an interview. She was beautiful. She's so tiny, so crazy. <sighs> the hardest part about acting is being really good at it and <laughs> looking comfortable when you're very nervous or intimidated and like trying to like control like your face nervously twitching and stuff. I experienced that a lot on um, Hollywood Star Girl, which is the movie I just did. That's coming out very soon. I would probably want to swing in between buildings with Spider-Man webs, because it looks so damn satisfying. To go like this and be like, shoo, and then go up, and be like that, and then go shoo, and you like go like, shoo. It looks like it's just, it feels so good, and like your like momentum would start getting into it after a while. God, I would just love to do that, and just like fall off a building but like not die, you know? <laughs> I've been really obsessed with the song Bewitched lately, the Frank Sinatra version. I listen to that like multiple times a day. I also like Ella Fitzgerald's version, but I like Frank's the most. Probably the beauty of just slowly creating and strengthening relationships with co-writers and producers and just like seeing us advance and like having that satisfying experience of just like creating something amazing. I feel like every time we work, it gets better and it makes me remember why I love to do what I do. My message would be to focus and live in the art and just keep your priorities straight and everything else will make sense after that. It was really on a whim. Um, I was brought the role of Stargirl. It was something I hadn't considered before and I was just like, you know what? I've never done a movie before. Not everyone gets the opportunity, so I might as well see what it's all about, you know? I don't believe in remakes. I don't. If I could remake anything, it'd be nothing. I see myself being super hot and super successful, wearing really cute pajamas in a beautiful apartment with three chihuahuas, one pug, and with a treadmill. I want, I want a treadmill so bad, but like not now. I want it like once I feel like I've deserved it with like a computer. That's where I see myself. <laughs> I listen to Lizzo. Rico Nasty and Doja Cat do my makeup really well, put on something cute, put on like fake glasses so I like feel like I'm like doing something, you know? Right now I would be in my room producing music on my computer, which is what I already do when I'm not working. Like that makes me single-handedly like believe in something, just like falling on the same wavelength as someone or being able to like 
literally open up a part of your like vulnerability and emotions and allow someone to like see in that in a way that like you could never just like express with words. I think that's like bizarre and amazing and it'll never get old, you know? I wanna eat healthy one day. I wanna be able to like eat salads and love it and yogurt. <laughs> I'm so, it uh, sounds so corny, but everything I have in my, my entire ability to make art and do what I do is because of you and I don't know why <laughs> I was just, I got that lucky, but it's amazing. And I know that you guys are real people out there. And I know some of you personally really love you guys. You guys always got my back. Makes me feel like I got a big family. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, look out for Stargirl 2 and all my new music that is coming out really soon.